Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Apa King Carter here. Welcome to the semifinals of the Ultimate Fighter Tournament. I'm going up against, uh, it looks like another dude out of the country. Let's see where he's fighting out of, man. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. I, it looks like we're going to be fighting up against Aiden Garcia. Oh, he's fighting out of Florida. Okay. Okay, so he, he living in the U.S. Why not? Okay. Oh, oh he don't, look, look. You know what happened to the last guy that was exerting all that energy? You ain't watch my tapes? Oh, he about to get his ass knocked out. I'm just going to say that now, man. When dudes come into Octagon doing all that flashy stuff, thinking they the greatest to ever do it, you know what I'm saying? The greatest to ever come into the Octagon, they get knocked out. I don't know how early this dude going to get knocked out. I don't even know if he's going to get knocked out at all. You know what I'm saying? He, he might not. You never know. I might want this one to go to decision. You know what I'm saying? Team McGregor has been, you know, in my corner, coming in my bedroom like, look, man, you're finishing these fights a little bit too early. You know what I'm saying? Let's see a little fighter tonight. But uh, this dude is 26 years old, man. Oh, my God. I'm about to knock the bricks off this old head. This old head about to get bodied. Now, we go ahead and touch gloves. Now, I want to say something real quick before a knockout comes. You can't blame me if this dude need the smelling salt. You know what I'm saying? If at any point in this fight, they need to bring out the smelling salt for this dude, it was not my fault. It was his fault. He did this to himself for coming in this octagon with me. You feel me? But my one-two punches are golden, man. Nobody can stop my one-two punches, man. I got, like, Fist of Fury, yo. Like, every time I throw a punch, it's semen, yo. Like, but I will say this dude does have a nice little chin because he hasn't been knocked out yet. You know what I'm saying? A lot of fighters that I've been going up against, they just been crumbling to the... To the punches to the kicks everything but this guy actually is giving me something man and he has a very 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 high damage on his head right now but he shoots him for the double leg takedown gets what he wants now i am going to try to get up here i get the nod and i try to get up once again and his mistake was posturing up if he wouldn't have postured up in half guard and went for a denial maybe he could have kept me on the ground but right now, I got to work back on his head damage because when he took me to the ground, he did have the advantage. He did heal. So, you know, once he recovered, it's all good, man. I can bring that right back. It's nothing. But um, I'm going to start using more movement in my matches. I feel like with the semifinals and stuff and the finals coming, I feel like I think a lot of fighters are going to be tagging me more. If I don't use movement, if I don't start blocking, it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to get knocked out at all. So I think movement is probably going to have to be key for me as well as slowing them down on the movement tip. Now, Garcia did just switch stands not too long ago before that little knockdown. Now, the reason they switched stands is because I was kicking his leg, trying to slow him down. He shot him for the takedown, but my one-two punches stopped him in his tracks. Now, does anybody see the blood? Oh, my God. I, yo, I, I just closed my eyes. Did anybody else close their eyes when I knocked him down? Good God, man. My one-two punches are landing clean. I've also been using, like, the Floyd Mayweather treatment. Like, you know, come down, hit him with a straight to the body. This dude head damage is disrespectful right now. But he's still not going down, man. He's still in this fight. He still has something to fight for. But the sprawl, though. What y'all know about sprawls, man? How many people can actually complete a sprawl? Like, I know a lot of people that play UFC. And every time somebody's shooting for a takedown, they can never sprawl it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you can sprawl, hey, look, you can fight me anytime. But I'm using my movement right now against Garcia. His head damage is crazy right now. And I just hope that I end this fight quickly. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to send this dude to the hospital, man. I don't want to open up a gash that can't be closed. You know what I'm saying? I don't want this dude to lose his eye or anything like that. But I am attacking it, though. You know what I'm saying? I got to attack the eye, man. It's only right. When you fight in the UFC and you want stoppages, man, you got to go after what you see. And I see red right now. You know what I'm saying? You see me moving with him, making sure he can't get nowhere. I've noticed that chasing a fighter is not the wave. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to chase a fighter, just use your movement to go where they are. So what I do is I just sidestep. You know, every time they move, I just sidestep with them. And it actually keeps me on the same line and path as them. Like, you see that? See that little step over real quick, man? He can't really get away from me even though he's trying to circle me. You know what I'm saying? He shoots him for the takedown. Now, I do get taken down. It's all good, man. Look, don't worry. Your boy... Is going to get out of this. I know a lot of people probably like, uh-oh. I pop about to get submitted. I pop about to take a L. Thank God, bro. Nah, man. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this uh, back sitting. Didn't work, so I sprawl out real quick. 
Now, I did want to go to half guard, but he said, nah, bro, not tonight. So I do finally get in half guard. I'm going to try to go ahead and get in back sitting real quick. What I want to do is I want to turn the tables on this fighter. So as soon as I get back sitting, I'm going to go ahead and try to go for the top mount. If I get the top mount, it's over. And guess on what? You know what time it is, bro. I'm going to go ahead and posture up. Start laying down these hooks. Oh, my God. They're going to elbow. They're going to elbow. We got another one. Look, look. The ref like, no, no, he wasn't ready. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Blood everywhere, B. Look at that. Boom. Blood everywhere. One more time. One more time. One more time. Look at this. Look at this. This dude is wide open. Both his eyes was cut. And this dude definitely going to have to get some stitches after this one. I'm just saying. The stitch games are going to have to be on fleek for that doctor. Man, whoever, do whoever doctor going to have to handle this dude, I know he going to be mad with me. I'm like, I told you I was not to go in that ring with Carter. I had to stitch up the last guy he fought. <laughs> but, hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, make sure you share this video. Hey, man, a lot of people voted in the last video. I hope you guys vote as well. If you want to see some bum fights versus YouTubers, let me know inside the comment section, man. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. This is IKC signing out. And we might have the finals in the next match. So, you know, hey, tomorrow might be a great day. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Peace. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose. Nobody want to be a fan anymore. Niggas get too cool. Get it? Jump in the books like the blues clues do. Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views. I'm trying to make a difference. Niggas savage like there ain't no jail. You killed her son, she know who did it. Think she ain't going to tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail. So you stuck until court. You might as well just decorate your cell. And your family broke. That's why you send the